Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Right, it's Monday, we are back to the top of the workshop looking at the top performing map of the moment and it's this one and it's fun. I can say it, it's fun. Based on a real life location area, not specifically taken from that area, used as inspiration, I think this is just very pleasing in a nice game playable kind of way. Uh, the creator has done a very good job with some very strong standards, which is a little bit surprising when... It's my first map. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's not a bad map at all. Again, uh, it's something that isn't going to appeal to absolutely everybody, but if you like interesting waterfronts, I think this is definitely a good one for you. Something that might be a good one for you, of course, is Bon Bon Bingo. Link is in the description. Check things off as we go along, just for fun. And if you want to do something serious, there's time for one of these. That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's name is Lake Town Yaravicula by Mylis. Yeah, Yaravicula, I had to um, get a little bit of help from Google. I'm sorry if I've got it wrong, Finland. But I think I'm close-ish. Maybe my rolling R's aren't quite there. Uh, let's just start square. Lots of fun going on there. Some will complain about the size of the intersection. Uh, the terrain heights are fine. It's a pretty flat map with just a little bit of undulation. And resources are a little bit light. But again, very, pretty usable. Especially if you want to maybe do some forestry. If you've got Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, we've got a mix of most of the fishes. It's pretty splashy. Off to the workshop. What do we need? Well, not too much. It's a mass transit map. You will need mass transit for this one. And there are a few things to subscribe to, including a ready-made one-click collection, which we'll have a look at in a moment. We'll be using the SCT homecoming theme and the realistic 1.2 LUT, along with the intersection marking tool, a node controller, a few trees. There's Harmony there as well. Uh, logs prop packer there. I, I've missed the props today. Uh, radioactive doesn't more I use hide it for the same purposes uh, there are a few highway exit signs and things which I didn't really notice there are a few things that you can get away with not actually subscribing to like the water lilies they they're nice when you see them but if you don't see them you don't notice them pretty much like anything you subscribe to really isn't it like these trees if you didn't see them you wouldn't notice them but frankly they're nice to have the tree painting is fine it's fine. They've kept uh, on the map that could have been absolutely overloaded with trees. They've kept the tree count fairly respectable. There's plenty to play with for your detailing, uh, whilst enough to make the map not feel bland and empty. So I would say it's a good job well done. Is it exciting? Well, no. Do you want it to be exciting? Is Finland exciting? <laughs> Oh, Finland's a little bit exciting, isn't it? It's situated up there in the exciting land of right next door to Russia, wondering for the whole of the 20th century if troops were going to come walking through at any moment, which, frankly, most of the time they never did. So, yeah, it's um, it's it's Finland. Finland, Finland. Oh, God. Okay, right. If, you, if you're unaware of Monty Python's Finland song, <laughs> now's the time to go and check it out. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, yes, it's mass transit. Uh, we are using mass transit today. Did I say that earlier? I, I think I might skip that. I might have done. Mass transit map. You will need mass transit for this one. Uh, mass transit highway is very nice. And um, we've got this central barrier as well. It's from Klus's uh, barrier collection or something like that. Uh, again, that is listed as well. So all these things very neatly put together. And with some, in terms of networking, some strong standards. Some strong set. The networking is where lesser creators tend to stumble a little bit as much as anything. They're, uh, they can be clunky, you can get your elevator at ground levels. Uh, we've got a um, little lay by there with the road just peeling off. Only from this direction, though. It's only from this direction. Again, 
Some of you might go, well, what if I'm going from the other direction? Well, tough. It's just tough. You can't get to it from the other direction. You might have to come back. I don't even know if you can loop back from this main intersection. I did bother checking. I'm sort of ad-libbing a little bit here. Doesn't look like you can, but maybe, maybe you can. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, anyway, uh, what have we got? Uh, she starts square intersection. It's quite busy. Lots going on. Good standards again. I thought there was going to be like a pillar or a tree under there, but there isn't. It's just nothing to complain about. And a, it just starts square roundabout, and it's nicely detailed as well, with some some very pleasing intersection marking tool, markings, line markings. So again, I've got nothing to groan about. This looks very low. Okay, now I can't guarantee this is not donut proof, but it feels like it probably is okay uh, i should really get have myself a, a little donut van prop ready for measuring of that and yes i know rulers i know rulers do you know how awkward those rulers are uh not least you've got to like measure the height of the donut van before you you might as well just have a donut van you might as well or a prop ship for when you've got shipping clipping it's, it's probably quicker and easier to do it that way than I, I understand those people that want to have those rulers especially if you are trying to recreate a specific height in real life of something they're great that they, they serve a purpose I think they're a little bit this is a bit too much for me for for this show for this for my particular needs they're a bit much uh, again uh, some very nice work going on there it's expecting some disasters we do have a bit of stop start traffic though um probably we need something a bit longer than the car with caravan have we got oh we've got a log truck let's just see i bet it stops i bet it stops when it waits for the car ahead to clear the intersection yep there we go so a tiny weeny weeny bit of stop start and of course it could get if you especially if you're going to do logging now i do feel this is a good logging map the, if you're going to be doing logging, you might have a little bit of uh, traffic just munching about at that intersection. It shouldn't be too far. It shouldn't be too much. It, maybe it will be. <laughs> National roads and all that limited amount of traffic on one lane. So anyway, yeah, now I, I, I'd like to apologise for last night's game breaking video. A, a very nice slick big old bridge here. Everybody loves a big old bridge. Look at that, it's big and it's, well, not up so old, but there you go. Yes, uh, I did like to apologize for last night's game breaking video teaser. I have been saying most of last week that there was gonna be a game breaking video out on Sunday and there was intended to be, and I kind of run out of time. I say kind of, I actually literally ran out of time to make it. And then it was like, well, how many hours do I want to spend making a two minute teaser video? And so I threw together a teaser video in uh, what I hoped was as pleasing as possible in the shortest possible time. Still probably took me about an hour and a half to record the full thing. Uh, what with the cinematics and the, the audio as well. So, um, so yes, uh, but I do apologize. It's not the full video. But in, when recording a teaser like that takes an hour and a half, you can imagine how long it's going to take to put together the full video. I, I would imagine, I would imagine we're probably looking at ooh, six hours probably in total for the full thing. Plus, um, I've I've already got quite a few hours of work in there already. I, I'm probably about, I'm probably about three or four hours away from having all the footage and all the editing done and then I'll just do some voicing and it'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm really pleased with it. Oh dear. And the, cre the creator community that have allowed it to happen. I, I mean, I'm just like, uh, just bowing to the, the quality. Let's say with Revo for the canal tutorial, Revo just like, I, I didn't, didn't even expect a, re a reply. We come up with these ideas like I'll contact one of the big creators. I know they're busy making stuff, but maybe, maybe they might. And they did. They're legend. Uh, I've got another legendary. You will recognize if 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 you follow the channel, if you're watching the assets and stuff, and um, especially this particular creator is quite renowned. 
quite rena- it's not it's not going to give you a big clue for the show by the way this but they're renowned for their animated assets so you probably that there are a few of you might know who it is already but yeah they're renowned for their animated assets and i went to them because of the animation but I did say in my contact with them that I didn't know if animation was going to be required for the asset, but let's. I, I went to them first because I thought that maybe it might add an extra level of, of, of fun to the asset. Uh, it turns out that we don't need the animation because basically the asset animates itself, which is amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you nothing, aren't I? <laughs> we'll take a brief intermission. We'll come back right after this. Do your bridges look like the game's AI has gone on holiday? Would you like vanilla bridges to be proud of? Then you need the beginner's guide to perfect bridges by Bon Bon B. Click the information button below. And so back to the shipping routes at Yaravicula of Lake Town, back Yaravicula. <laughs> your avicular lake town by my list uh yeah good solid uh shipping routes nice triangles are there making sure we don't have any right angle turning shipping and then we get over here it actually takes a little bend off here and we can go up and a uh, whoop there a little shipping triangle there as well and heads up this way and it's it's very pleasing it's very credible and it's somebody who has paid attention which is nice Remember, first map, good quality work. Water flow. Now, the, there isn't much water flow. They, they do accept this. There isn't much water flow down here in the start square. If you have a look at th these rivers, they're pretty slow. And that was actually heading back towards us. They're pretty slow. So, yes, uh, water towers or custom assets or the alternative solutions. Was it green cities with the alternative solutions are all there? But, yeah, we don't have an awful lot of much. But there are multiple areas. So, so you could draw from one area and pump into another, I guess, would be a solution also, if that's what you want to do. I'm loving the shapes of the lakes. Remember, Finland is officially 85% water. <laughs> okay, I might have just made that number up, but it, there, it's one of those countries that is, if, you, if I said to you, um, Chad, you go, oh, it's desert, yeah? <laughs> if I said to you, um, if I said to you, Finland, you go, oh, it's lakes. It's basically, it's lakes. That's what Finland is, made up of lakes. We've got um, some nice little detail areas, a little bit of rock work here and there. there there's your lilies. See, we, we found the water lilies. Nice when you see them. If you didn't subscribe to them, would you miss them? Wee bit of water glitching with the vanilla rocks right there. Tiny little wee bit of water glitching. Nothing that's going to really make you cry. But um, yeah, just uh, what can you do about it, really? Uh, and then a little castle out on a little... Area here, you know, little bonbon island, tiny little thing. I could call that a bonbon island. I could, I could live on that. I mean, it's a bit close to the mainland, really, but this is Finland. There's nobody living near you anyway. <laughs> okay, we got this lay-by thing, um, which feeds down to this dirt track, and the dirt track just leads down to uh, the lakes. I mean, everything just goes to a lake on this map. And it's, it's all very nice. It's just all sweeping shapes of the lakes. And all good. So based based on a real life location. Although not an actual real life location. Uh, sorry about that. Just dropped me mouse. And uh, that real life, uh, real life location. I think would make a particularly interesting factoid. So um, we'll do the start square now. And do factoids. <laughs> And start square, we have got the return of Darth. Darth, it's been busy with real life and things and other things for the last 18 months. Comes back with a couple of assets in the same week and boy are they nice. This is the Apollo Theatre. Lovely. Factoids, quickly, bef before we run out of time. Because factoids, uh, Uvascular, I'm sorry, Finland for my pronunciations, is a city and municipality in Finland in the western part of the Finnish Lakeland. It's located about 150 kilometers northeast of Tampere, the third largest city in Finland and the home of Colossal Order. In the 2010s, Yara, sorry, uh, Uvascular 
the uh, earned a reputation as one of the most productive and high quality rap music centers and it's been titled in the media as the capital of Finnish rap or frap possibly and anybody who wears trousers who raps in Finland must be a frappuccino I just made that up <laughs> you knew that a pilot here to my daft I miss daft they are so good good to have you back please stay please <laughs> But if life gets in the way, of course, go and, go and do what you need to do, Darth. Well, we, we don't demand free stuff from you. We, we don't. We, we just enjoy it. We just enjoy it so much. Anyway, if you're still here, what do you think of this free map? Remember? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers' choice top ten. Will this be one of the top ten maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the I button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description. Take it to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. Well, what do I think of today's map? Well, it's quite pleasing. Isn't it? The, the shapes on the map are very pleasing. Uh, in terms of the aesthetics, I th the trees are a, are a little basic. I mean, they do the job. There's some fields and some field painting which are a little basic, but do the job. Everything does the job, and everything's very pleasing. I think it's four stars. I, it's not high, but I think it's four stars. Let's go lowish four. Detailing, there's nothing wrong with this map at all. There's not that much really, mind I mean, a little bit of water glitching. Okay, I take it back. Um, there's nothing mind blowing about it either. Let's go again, lowish four. It's, it's, it's good. Gameplay potential. I would go a little bit higher, but for a tiny weeny bit of stop start traffic. But as it is, I think it's good. So let's go middle four, but just under because of the stop start of the traffic. Lake Town, Yarravicula by Midas. I'll try that with the rolling R. Yarravicula. Bomb Bomb BC of approval. Yara, Vicky. Oh, never mind. I, I, I tried. I tried. You Scandinavians, you like rolling your R's, don't you? Yes, I know. I did that just for the pun. I know. Anyway, beautiful. Very nice. Very nice work. Not bad for a first map at all. At all. If the workshop was filled with those, we'd be right in there, wouldn't we? Anyway, if you're still here, you're part of the 20 and out elite. Use the word today in the comments for some population points just for fun. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the Watch Map series, the request map, and it might just be a good one. Keep your eye open. Have a great day. See you very, very soon. <laughs>